Saturday, June 13th, 2020. Got a few projects today involving the fence here. Uh, finally got the caps for the post yesterday, so I seriously doubt that the posts are two inches. So what I'll do is put the caps on and then I'll have to lift the uh, lights up so there won't be a gap between the cap and the uh, solar light. In addition, I'll probably just water today in the backyard. The um, hydrangeas, they seem to be improving. Now, I know these don't look great, but looks like they're trying to perk up, even the one that looks like it's given up. So we're gonna continue to water, maybe, maybe the color will change and it'll look a lot more vibrant. So far, so good. And I think today I'll um, season the grill and place it in that area. Let's get started. So just as I suspected, there's no way these um, caps are two to three inches in length or however long this is. So let's take a look. Let's see what we have here. Okay, they fit. So again, what I'll do is raise the light up so we won't see that gap. Doesn't look that bad though. Maybe I should uh, talk to management and see uh, what she thinks. Well, we're gonna go as is. From there, now all the posts don't have lights. Uh-oh, just another bird, there we go. But all the posts will get caps, just to cap them off. That one and this one on down. But it works actually, it's showing some of the wood in between the uh, cap and the light is a good touch. So I'll be finishing this off. So these were ordered from Amazon, 16 in a pack. I believe they're about $24.99. That's a good deal. Cheap caps when you think about it, but they do the job and make the fence look a lot better. So be moving on to watering the backyard and the hydrangeas. Before I water, I can uh, secure the, or at least better secure the no dig edge here so I can pull back some of the, uh, this is loose here, identify where it's a little too loose and then just add some more stakes. This spot definitely, maybe all the way down almost, maybe about three, three more stakes in this area. That'll do the trick. All right, guys, here we go. Open these up and then pull back some of the mulch. Real simple. I'm just pulling some of the mulch back, just very little, getting the stakes in place. So I'll just add a few more going down. So I decided to use the remaining stakes all the way down. There were 10, so I'm just gonna add 10 more all the way down. And again, there's nothing to this, folks. It just goes right in the ground. It's very simple. And the final step is just covering the edge like it never happened. So 
now it's a little more stable. So when I cut the grass, you won't see as much movement, especially in this area. It feels real sturdy now. It's not shaking like it once was. So we're done here. Time to water some grass. Haven't put the sprinkler out yet. Uh, because, you know, there are days when I might want to come out here and you know, just sit and have a drink and I don't want the furniture to be too wet. So today would have been a good day for the sprinkler. I don't plan on sitting back here. It's weather just doesn't really allow it. So have a hoodie on. I'll let you know it's not it's not gonna be very hot today. The weather here is uh, up and down. It's like nine months of blah and maybe nine and a half, ten months of blah, two months of hot humid weather. So I decided to use the sprinkler. What am I waiting for? It's here, it's ready. It's a good day. I'm not gonna be sitting uh, on the furniture, so why not save some time and use the sprinkler? A whole lot better. Much more time efficient. Love it. Good news, folks. The hydrangeas are also getting water so this turned out to be great <laughs> 